Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, hope you're all well. I hope you like this short clip before uh, what I'm just like actually saying now. But I just want to say thanks to Khalid, Andy Clark, Andy Clark for getting in contact with me, uh, everybody else at club for making it possible uh, with the media side of people representing Barnsley Football Club uh, versus the staff. Uh, that's including me, Tax TV, uh, Radio Sheffield, Reds All Over, Barnsley Chronicle, other media outlets and things like that. Uh, be good get together. Good crack and banter with lads. Uh, met up with Dale, Darren Pentry. He also uh, got on pitch. Um, it, was, it was good banter, good, you know, uh, good good bonding. So, yeah, it it, it was good. Um, much needed, uh, uh, you know, banter and having a crack with some of the lads and that and talking. Um, Alan shook his hand straight away when I come in. I think it was one of the first people I saw. Uh, so, it great to see Alan. Uh, Joe, son, uh, you know, his sons, Josh as well. Uh, they were there, uh, radio, BBC Radio Sheffield team. They were there as well before we were shooting off to do the, the game tonight as well. Uh, backroom staff, like I said, Thomas Harbour made a, an appearance on the sidelines. He showed up. Uh, so, yeah, for people who I mentioned, I apologise. Uh, the result was 3 2 to club staff. But to be fair, it was, it, was, it was a close game with some decent tackles going in, to be fair. Uh, no bookings, but with some decent uh, tackles. And no doubt that uh, all bound staff will be made aware of Andy Clark's... Uh, what can I say? I won't say wonder goal myself. I say wonder goal, because if he's watching it, uh, it was a decent goal, to be fair. Uh, actually, hit it well. So And then, yeah, I just can imagine what it's going to be like back at offices it'll be reliving that and i'm sure everybody will know about it so yeah it was a decent crack and good banter good talking to different uh, people as well actually putting faces you know to to names because like i said bbc radio sheffield they talk a lot i listen a lot as well but when you see anything oh yeah i mean uh doug as well so yeah broad variety and i i, I do apologize for the bloke who yeah, we're acting the captain, the manager, and doing everything. We're making a lot of stuff. I, I hope the when you give me your mobile phone, I hope I got the right footage on. If, if anybody's in who's watching this and they know who I'm on about, please leave a, a comment so I, I do actually know his name because you're a good lad, a really good lad. I got him when I was uh, coming on. He said, Can you do me a favor, get me on when I'm going to show myself on like fun game? So I'll try to get a bit of footage when you were when you were playing video record footage. So if anybody knows who he is, if you drop us a, a comment below so I know who he is, so I can like try and find him and send him a message and hope it were up to standards. But yeah, we the event what we're going off with legends versus fans as well at the weekend. And also this as well for the media side, representing bands of football, you know. It's fans forums and uh, other social media outlets and obviously there's going to be the official uh, route as well the chronicle and stuff like that but it's also, it's also nice to get invited to these these things it were a surprise it were out of blow want, want to be expecting but really enjoyed it i hope there's going to be more in them uh, more engagement and stuff like that it's not been a great season we all we all know that but to see what club if I said, trying to get back that bit back to community it's it's what needs to happen more regular and more engagement and uh, uh, you know hats off to like I said all people because all staff pitch was getting cut as well when we turned up so credits you know credit to the staff who made all this happen for us as you know as fans to attend and actually get onto pitch and you know, being managers dug out and see it from a different, you know, perspective. I appreciate it. Uh, didn't realise we technical area how small it is, but you know, when you get there, you just can imagine when you know Oakwell's like all, all being all going to be bouncing and stuff like that. But yeah, I just want to. It's just a short video. Um, like I say, I do appreciate everybody what's liked. If you've ever been to fun, uh, fun uh, legend fans. Of the weekend as well. Let me know your experiences as well. Well, it was great to see everybody. 
like I say, from BBC Radio Sheffield, Reds all over. But that's kind of cool, and all other media outlets are out there. They all did well, you know, it were, unlucky, it were a close game, unlucky game, but yeah, hats off and uh, fair play to the club for making this possible and happening for us, us fans, us supporters, and um, yeah, all being well, it can continue and build on it and make it bigger, make it better. But I uh, just want to take time out and say thank you uh, to the Football Club for making this happen to us fans. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>